to Zarina. Rose to Drummond. Stuffs it down with authority. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size, but in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bigs. To ball. Curling inside. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. To Rose. Alonzo Trier. Knocked loose. And that one is out. Rose. Slam dunk, Alonzo Trier. An easy two. Get back on defense. To Tobias Harris. loose ball going to launch beyond the arc shakes free and hits that shot was nice but that pass that was the real highlight good teams always find a way to get the best shot available rose into the front court down by one griffin to alonzo trier to griffin Shot from in close, no good. To Tobias Harris. Fires the three. That's good D. Shot, no good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. And count the basket. In the paint, you need to finish. Just like that. Count it. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Nothing going here on that drive. Short jumper won't fall. He missed that shot on his own. The defense didn't do anything on that play to make him miss. Cruises inside for two. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his court. Derrick Rose. First couple didn't go. That one is true. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Two MB. And counted at the rim. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Rose into the front court. Down three. Ah, oh, rocking the rim. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Number 25. Derek. Nothing going here on that drive. To Embiid. Stuffs it down with authority. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. The possession in favor of Detroit. Joel Embiid pins it. And that's light work for a guy with his ability. Finishing inside the paint on that one. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Rose into the front court. Down five. Alonzo Trier to Rose. And a whistle. Timing was just a tap it off. Alonzo Trier to Rose. Derek Rose. He's two for five. Not great, but trending. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here.
Did I upload the wrong name in that video? Yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. To Tobias Harris. It's good. If you don't stand in his way, he's going to make you pay. I hear so many players talk about, oh, my skill set is this or my skill set is that. How about your skill set is your effort on the defensive end? That's something we don't talk about as much as we need to. To ball. Pistons have the rebound. To Rose. Here comes the screen. Alonzo Trier to Griffin. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Gets it in the right corner. Alonzo ball. That won't go. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Contact on the drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. To J.R. Smith. 4-3. Won't go down for J.R. Smith. Defense was all over him. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. to Tobias Harris. And he's going to the line to shoot. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one for Tobias Harris. A couple of free throws on the way. A career 81% free throw shooter. Knocks down the first. Able to convert on both free throws. Get it, shoot it again. to Rose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Runners good there. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle on dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. Nice finish at the rim. And attention to detail is everything for a professional scorer like that. Actually getting it done the hard way. Right now, the Pistons have the basketball. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. To ball. Just off the mark. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. He gets it. You know, and the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand. Check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game. Not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Here comes the screen. Alonzo Trier curling inside to Alonzo Trier. Got a piece of him. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. For three. second takes advantage of the foul three for three at the line whistle stops play and we'll get a timeout here for Detroit as we'll talk things over here in the first quarter in the hands of Philadelphia. To Brunson, beyond the arc for three. 
Brunson forced that one. Well defended. Griffin. Add two points to the board. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. The assist from number zero, Andre Drummond. And he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jack. There's a very fine line between maximum effort and carelessness. I'm willing to live with a few mistakes and maximum effort than having to constantly remind my players to close out. Goes two for two at the line. It's Detroit's ball. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Free throw good to cap off the three-point play. That cuts it to a seven-point game. To Brunson. Nice pass to get things going. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, shit. You essentially lose yourself in what the See, team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Rose into the front court. Down 11. Driving right to the basket. Oh! He sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Into the game for Trying to cash in. Jumpers good. Woo! Did you see that? Eyes to the rim and the rest was all net. To Allen. Deep two there. Won't go. Oh, working hard there. Collects the rebound and gets it back up for the slam. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim. Inevitably, the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Time for some new personnel into the game. Jumpers off the mark. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win the defensive battle. So Horford. And finishes strong. See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve your energy. You attack that rim with ferocity. You always set the tone. Jackson with it. They're down three. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Number two. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. To Brunson. And he knocks it down. Jay, nice look right there. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Has a chance. Wide open look won't go. Blake Griffin with the block. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Pistons have it. Reggie Jackson rocks the rim. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's prob city. Fires the three. Shot off the mark. Good defense. There it is. Al Horford. That's three now.
shot. Four shots. Leadership's greatest values occur. to choose Boston in decades. And let me tell you this, the legacy of greatness runs deep in the family. His father, Tito Horford, was the first Dominican basketball player to ever play in the league, which goes... to show you why Al has such a great feel for the game. Here's a chance from long range. They snuffed it out. Tobias Harris missed it. To Brunson. From long range. To number 17, Tony Snell. That's his third personal foul. And hits the first free throw. Second and three is good. Perfect from the line. It's all three of them. Jackson with it. His team down nine. Reggie Jackson. It's like he's shooting into the ocean. He has not missed. No doubt about where that one was headed. Lonzo Ball brings it up the floor. Nothing going here on that drive to Horford. Stuffs it down with authority. Yo. And a lot of passers usually have their head on a swivel, but ultimately, either you have a feel for the game or you don't. Jackson with it. Nine point margin. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to pull off with the defender all over you. Alonzo Trier to Drummond. Off the assist. Old school equals high percentage. To Tobias Harris. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Smothering D. Griffin. Here's Jackson down low. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. To Drummond. A bad pass as the Sixers come up with this steal. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Ball with it up top. Leads five. And the slam. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what you can do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than there was defense. 
Another follow. No good. The big fella, Andre Drummond. Three for three in this first half. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. To Brunson. Let's it fly from long range. Jalen Brunson showing off that toughness. Drills the three. And the three-point shot of the offense applies so much pressure on the defense. You can no longer build your teams inside out. The new way, you build your team outside out. Spins and scores. Come on, somebody tell me when he added that to his arsenal. To Brunson. And he buries it. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. To Tobias Harris. Going to launch beyond the arc. Now that's a contest. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Jackson to Luke Kennard. Shot clock to four for the Pistons. Kennard to Griffin. Fires the three. And he can't get it to go down. It's no good. The big fella, Andre Drummond. Oh, the defense has to adjust. He's four for four to start this one. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Reggie Jackson, not that time. To Tobias Harris. Give him two points. High percentage. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Andre Drummond, huge block. Just incredible timing on that swap. Has a look. Griffin shot won't go. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. 4-3. Trying for a 30-point night, but it's no good. Jackson with it. Now down six. Count the basket inside. And the defense keeps sticking to those flare screens. Just don't flare out to the three-point line. Flare to the rim for a lot. To Tobias Harris. For three, Harris always looking to create a shot, even ones like those. You live by the three, you die by the three. And guess what? They're living large right now. Piston's ball here. Slams it down. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. New blood coming in for both sides. Ball. Trying to cash in and buries it. Jay, they'll take that any day. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. And a nice finish at the rim. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Alonzo Trier to Drummond. Oh, lots of contact there. Still gets it to go. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. Beyond the arc for three. Oops, he missed the first one. 
Knocks down the second free throw. Jackson with it. Looking to make something happen. To Drummond. Has a chance. With the fade away. Burns him for the basket. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. To Embiid. Joel Embiid. That's now four. He hasn't missed. In the paint, you need to finish. Just like that. The possession in favor of Detroit. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. You see, here's why versatility is so imperative for your offensive repertoire. If you're a one-trick pony as a defender, how to defend you because you only do one thing. But if you have versatility, then the coach can put you in multiple looks within the offense, and then you can get it any way you want it. Five seconds to shoot. Fires the three. Luke Kennard bothered just enough on that one. Lonzo with it. The lead is 11. Here's a chance from long range. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Embiid. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs are calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Won't go. He needs some luck on his side, given how they're defending. First half comes to an end, and the 76ers have to be feeling good. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. The 76ers have a comfortable lead at the halfway mark. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Pistons are down at halftime and in need of some momentum. They've been scrapping, doing their best to be competitive. We'll see if their efforts are more rewarding in the second half. These are the guys getting buckets for the Detroit Pistons. Game track. Defense. The Detroit Pistons didn't just struggle on offense with the reckless way they handled the ball, giving up a bunch of steals. They also struggled with their shot selection because too many of their attempts got swatted away. Player of the half. I'm ready to skip ahead and just get this guy player of the game. You can tell he's on his way to a special game. We have picked them for you. Here are the top players. Number two. Number one. 
And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. Lonzo Ball with the rock. To Embiid. Joel Embiid. He's now shooting five for seven. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in the zone by himself. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Here's your chance to break this thing wide open. A bad pass as the Pistons come away with it. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Nothing going here on that drive. Sixers able to clear the rebound. To Embiid. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Now the Pistons going to use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. First one, count it. Two for two on that trip. And score, strong take. Man, he's got the defender out there tap dancing like that on national TV. That's not a good sign. To Alonzo Trier. Great feed. Sets it up. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. But most importantly, you have to keep the ball moving. Maybe run some floppy sets, some horn sets. Raise those bigs up, which open up the lane, and let them be the passers to make plays easier for the guards. Rose into the front court. Down a bundle. Sixers have the basketball. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. And that is the sign of an unselfish team. When everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer, somebody willing to make other players on this team look great, that's only going to force your players to play that much harder on offense and give you more energy on the defensive end. Oh, too much contact. Free throws on the way. Derrick Rose has got two shots coming. Hasn't missed yet. Off the mark on the first free throw. Second one's good. Splits the pair. To Tobias Harris from long range. They snuffed it out. Tobias Harris missed it. His scoring has definitely cooled off, but you have to give the defense some credit. They're denying him the ball and really making him work once he catches it. Missed a wide open look. To ball. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Lonzo Ball connects. They sag off someone whose shot is only improving, and Lonzo delivers. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. To MB. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Joel Embiid trying to cash in on a three-point play for his career 77% at the line. Embiid's free throw good. A three-point play. The Sixers extend the lead. 
Rose into the front court. His guys down big. To MB. Stuffs it down with authority. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. Rose into the front court. He'll run the offense. Pistons recover. To Griffin. Well defended. Shot no good. If it was anyone else, they'd be back on the bench for taking that shot. Ball. Cash is in for two. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as a difference maker in this ball game is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive, but when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want it. Time to shuffle things up. To Griffin. Has a look. Knocks it down from mid-range. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Philadelphia with the basketball. Oh, the Devo get tired of me breaking his damn ankle. Short jumper. Oh, that's a damn shame. It's easy. Four skies and two no percentage shots. That's the reason really why we're bad to stats. when it comes it to me. Four percentage shots. Ball. Lonzo Ball hits the tough shot. The defender played it well. Lonzo strikes. Not everybody possesses this power. Can you ask about Philadelphia 107 or 77 on this damn game? I can sit here and retire out of nowhere. To ball. Oh, I can let my dogs take care of you. And I'm just. Let's it fly from long range. Textbook defense. I'm not going to take care of myself. Knock loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Wide open look won't go. You see, Ed, this is where coaches get fired. It's great to have good offensive sets, but if you can't execute, then the play was a failure. Drummond. Short jumper won't go down. Cleaning the offensive glass on the follow. Way to stay with it. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Here comes the screen. To Griffin. Hey, double screen. Tough mate through traffic. I was expecting the disc there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. This time down. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. To Alonzo Trier. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Defenders had no chance on that one. That's why we call it the elite right, tier. Right now, the Pistons have the basketball. Down low for Griffin. Knocked loose. Sixers have it. He had all day and all night to knock that one down. Need to hear more chatter on the defensive end. The great defenders, the ones that really earn their paycheck, are the ones that refuse to be screened. You stuck to that screen like Velcro.
Looks like both teams are making substitutions. for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Perfect feed to set up the basket. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Deep left corner, going to launch, beyond the arc. Missed it. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Rose into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Fires the three. Knocks it down. Ooh, welcome to the new reality. Positionless basketball. Bigs are now PGs with the ability to drain threes. It's Detroit's ball. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. You used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Yes, and a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Miss the foul shot. Gets it in the left corner. 4-3. He was crowded. Grayson Allen off the mark. Now a drive, but the shot won't fall. Joel Embiid sends it away. Oh, he blocked that with authority. For three, rebound taken by the Sixers. And he finishes at the rim. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was a look of a three-point play. You always going in think you can get more at the rim. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Oh, they call the foul, Jay. Welcome to New Age Basketball. You blow on me. That's a foul. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Jackson. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Tony Snell at the line for a chance at a three-point play for his career, 80% at the line. Free throw up and good. It's a three-point play, but a rare spot as they continue to trail big. Sixers control it. Brunson to Embiid. That's... Not 
kick loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. And scores. Great body control on the step through. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. A shot by Brewer misses. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ballgame. Here comes the screen. Kennard. To Reggie Jackson. And the defender over pursues, and he's called for. Timing was just a tad bit off. First try, no good. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. Goes to the left side. Lonzo Ball. Not that time. He misses. Drummond. Joel Embiid with a piece. And that's light work for a guy with his ability. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Smith to Embiid. Ah, the monster stuff. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big-time finish. Jackson to Drummond. From the outside, no good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs are calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Jackson with it. Down a bundle. Here we go. Trying to cash in. Deep two there. Won't go. Oh, I like that. You got the defense rotating from side to side. They're even recovering late. But still, you got to make that one. To ball. Beyond the arc for three. Buries it on the catch and shoot. I don't know how he saw his man out in the cut like that. But that was nice. Easy pack to the rim. That's it? That's all the celebration I get? I wanted to see a little bit more of that one. Alonzo controls the offense. To Tobias Harris. MB. Andre Drummond able to recover with the lock. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. To Drummond. From the painted area, won't go down. To Embiid. And stuffs it home. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. Not loose. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there is a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. And the finish at the rim. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Knocked loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. So it stays with Detroit. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Great feed. Oh, ferocious slam inside. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dumped that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Fires the three. I don't know, G. 
Jay. They have a big lead. This game is just about over. He might not make many friends on the other side with that three. Oh, I don't want to hear that generic coaching speak about dwindle down the shot clock, use the clock, the clock is your friend. No, if you have a chance to beat him by 50, beat him by 50. If you want to beat him by 100, keep shooting more threes. Jumper's good. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. Pistons have it. Jackson. Here comes the screen. Probing the defense to Jackson. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Has a chance. Gets a shot up off the mark. Ball into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. Joel Embiid, a tip tip. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Ball with the basketball. His guys hold a commanding lead. Got it. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Count it at the line. Kennard. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. That's all she wrote. Dribble it out. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. And attention to detail is everything for a professional scorer like that. Actually getting it done the hard way there. Knocked loose. Piston's ball here. Jackson to Luke Kennard. To the rim. Lays it up and in. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Here's a chance from long range. He was all over. From long range. And it's Harris who's able to clear the rebound. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, this team has been mentally engaged. I know the season's a long year, but when you come mentally engaged and you have attention to detail, whoo, that's a scary thing to watch. The Sixers are victorious as they win this one in very convincing fashion. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Bye, Pistons. It was nice having fun with you. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. Like, comment, and subscribe. The 76ers could not have been more dominant in this game. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. Check out the leading scores for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Pistons are no longer suffering through what was a big-time blow-up. And it's games like this where veteran players can be so important. They've been through these types of blow-ups, and they know what it takes to keep a locker room united. Game track. Defense. Player of the game. If you asked him, I'm sure he'd give the credit to his teammate and coaches. But at the end of the day, we know that he's the one that made the biggest impact on this game. These are the top plays of the game.
Number two. Number one. This is this what is the what future, the future holds, holds for the Detroit, Detroit Pistons. Pistons. And that, and that does it for our post-game wrap-up wrap up on, on behalf of ESPN on EA Sports. Sports. I'm Jalen Rose. Rose. Thanks, Thanks for joining us.